hello you are warmly welcome to steady right hub i'm so glad to be back on this channel we've been discussing ppf on our channel for a while now we've been discussing theories on ppf but today i want us to head straight into some quantitative questions on ppf on my table here we have australia and new zealand these countries both produce oranges and apples at different quantities Okay, and we are required to draw PPFs for each country. And definitely, I know as an economic student, you would be required one way or the other to draw PPF caps. So, why not take your pen or your pencil, your ruler, and a plain sheet as I have mine here, so that we all try to draw our production possibility caves without wasting much time let's go straight to drawing uh graphs we have australia here australia and um, new zealand now we have to draw to be able to draw any curve you need your x and y axis which every economy student should know by now we have our y axis and uh, Sizes. We do same for New Zealand. Good. I think it's okay. Let's try a name uh exercises apples for both countries. And both countries. Okay, so definitely X Y right? It's obvious. Australia produces within a range of 3 and 12 for both apples and oranges. So let's say for apples, we are using multiples of 3. We have our 0 here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. It's enough. For oranges, we are use whole numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will be fun. In New Zealand, we have three and six. So you can use whole numbers for both oranges and apples. Let's go straight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Since we are done with labeling our X and Y axis, we go ahead with plotting our points. Australia produces 12 apples and 0 oranges. How do you plot this on your graph? Locate where apples are on your graph. Apples are here and oranges are here. So 12 apples, 0 oranges. Let's get it here. Now, 3 apples, 3 oranges. 3 apples and three oranges right then zero and um, four let's spread it join you can use either your hand or your ruler this is not drawn to scale now we come to new zealand New Zealand produces six apples and zero oranges. Six apples, zero oranges. So a plot should be here. And then three apples, three oranges. Three apples, three oranges. Remember, this is not drawn to scale. Zero apples, six oranges. Also here. Then you try and then. Plot it. It is best you do it with your hand, or some also consider doing it with a ruler to get an it work. But I consider doing it with my hand because of the nature of the PPF, which is always coming out. If you see any question that requires you to draw PPF for countries, this is how you go about it, and I believe that it was helpful. In my next video, I'm going to calculate the opportunity cost for both countries. And then we also see if the opportunity costs are either increasing, decreasing, or constant. Without wasting much time, just hit on the next video.
and then come with me to calculate the opportunity cost for Australia and New Zealand in this question. It's bye for now and thank you for joining this lesson.